sun is shining the snow is slowly melting away it's in the 30s so it's not too bad and so it's just beautiful outside watching the deer and the turkey walk by so i was uh, i was thinking about lent and about ash wednesday and what lent really means I, I like i like lent more than i do advent if i had to take a choice because advent being so commercialized i guess in a lot of ways bread where lent is a really truly moment of holiness in our lives we can really think about our lives in a much more personal way. I found this story in my files that I think kind of says a lot about Lent, if, you, if you'll let me tell a quick story. There's a mountain climber who wanted to climb the highest mountain, and he began the adventure after many years of preparation. But since he won the glory for himself, he decided to go by himself to the top of the mountain. That night that he, that he decided to climb fell very heavy in the mountains and it got very dark and the man could not see anything. Everything was black. There was zero visibility. The moon and the stars were covered by the clouds. As he was climbing, only a few feet from the top, he could see the edge of where he would get to the top of the mountain. He slipped and fell into the air. And he fell at a great speed, of course. He only see black spots as he went down and the terrible sensation of being sucked by gravity as he went down. He kept falling and falling. And in those moments of great fear, it came to his mind all the good and bad episodes of his life. He was thinking now about how close death was getting, when suddenly he felt the rope tied to his waist was yanked viciously, very hard. His body was hanging in the air. Only the rope was holding him. And in that moment of stillness, he had no other choice but to scream from the from his very soul, help me God. Suddenly, out of the great dark sky above him, a deep voice answered him, what do you want to do? Save me, God. And the voice said, do you really think I can save you? And he says, of course I believe you can. And the voice said, then cut the rope at your waist. There was a moment of silence. And the man decided to hold on to the rope with all of his strength. The rescue team tells that the next day, a climber was found dead and frozen. His body was hanging from a rope, his hands holding tight to it, only 10 feet from the ground. You know, so often we look into our past and I look at my past, and I have clung in the darkness to a rope in my hand so often, thinking that was the only thing I could depend upon. It was what I knew, the experiences I've had, I depended upon, and even like things I didn't want to give up, back to Lent, what's all about sacrifice. But I found it wasn't what I needed for the moment and the challenge in my life. Not every past experience fits future experiences and challenges. I try to use them, but many times they come up short and my situation doesn't improve at all because I try to use my own resources. It is the next step of faith in my darkness that must be made if I have to go forward. If I have faith in my creator, if I believe in what he has done for me in my past and I believe what he has for me for my future, that's where I will let go of the rope and still find the answers in faith in him and in others around me who have helped me. And I will not drop in the darkness ever again. We cling to our ropes during Lent. We cling to things that we know are familiar with, but it's during Lent that we, we let go of the rope with high faith, risking that God knows what we need in our lives. So we sacrifice those things we cling to and get rid of them in our life during Lent to prepare ourselves for the, the rising of the, of, the, of the Christ in our life. 
someday when the light shines again. May you have a blessed and a very important time of Lent in your spiritual lives. Amen. Amen.